How glorious a greeting the sun gives the mountains. To behold this alone is worth the pain of any excursion a thousand times over. With this famous John Muir quote in mind, we took the long flight over the Atlantic to explore the grandeur of nature in the northwestern United States. This is our story. We are driving now towards the east on the Interstate 90 and our next stop will be Leavenworth. Leavenworth is a small Bavarian themed town in the Cascade Mountains. Leavenworth is an access point to the Enchantments, one of the most spectacular regions in the Cascade Mountain range. This is where we're heading. And with this we arrived in Leavenworth. Um, we put on our hiking gear and we are driving now to the Lake Stewart and Lake Colchuk trailhead and we'll hike up to those both lakes. Um, it's in the southbound part of the Cascades in the Enchantment and yeah it should be a beautiful hike. We just were at the ranger station to get some information and finally I asked for bear spray right because we don't have big predators in Europe <laughs> and he said oh no you don't need bear spray just take a gun. <laughs> it's obviously for fun but uh, yeah really nice guy there in the ranger station in Lemberg. Yeah, and uh, as I said, we're driving there now, and I'll show you around when we're there. The drive to the Alpine Lake Wilderness Trailhead is already stunningly beautiful. But be aware, the roads are maintained, but especially in the upper part, pretty rough and require a vehicle with good clearance. Now we arrived at the trailhead, it's directly behind us. It costs $5 a day if you want to park here. If you want to camp overnight, you need a special permit. And yeah, here starts our hike. It will be roughly 10 miles, 15 kilometers, and roughly 2,000 feet elevation gain, 700 meters. Let's go. We enter the area via the Lake Stewart Trail. It is the most convenient route to reach Lake Stewart and Lake Kolchak. Especially Lake Kolchak is very popular, so you're hardly ever out of hearing distance to other hikers. The trail leads us along mountaineer creeks to a crossroad where the trail to Lake Kolchak breaks off to the left. We follow the way to Lake Stewart further along. We're roughly a third of the way in when it comes to altitude gain, half of the way when it comes to distance. And I have to say, it is stunningly beautiful here. The enchantments are really worth a visit. I think I hardly ever have been in such a beautiful surroundings. It's, it's really impressive. And yeah, the trails are quite good. You have signs everywhere. You even have outhouses on the trails that you can use if you want to. And yeah, it's Really, really beautiful place. We only see small bits of wildlife on the busy trail. But as we continue towards Lake Stewart, the trail gets noticeably more lonely as most people directly visit Lake Kolchak. We continue our hike, cross over Mountaineer Creek into an adjacent flat valley that leads to Lake Stewart directly at the base of imposing Mount Stewart. In the end, the trail gets a bit steeper and we start seeing more wildlife. We take another turn and unexpectedly there it is. And we made it to our first stop, Lake Stewart. It's really beautiful here. Um, the distances I told you earlier are not quite accurate. We have them from the internet and we almost walked nine kilometers, so six miles until we're here, and uh, 600 meters, so 80, 1800 feet altitude gain. Um, we will go back the same way, the Lake Stewart Trail, and then, depending on our mood, we'll also visit uh, Lake Kolchuk, and I'd say I'll yeah, give you a shout out from there. For now, let's just 
enjoy this beautiful scenery it's yeah it's really some something else i mean it's unbelievably beautiful Lake Stewart is an absolutely magical place. The incoming clouds bath it in a bleak light that I have only experienced on large glaciers in the high mountains. But when, from time to time, a ray of sunshine breaks through the clouds, it illuminates the landscape with a fairy tale like glow. We stay here for a while, but at some point we need to head back to the crossroads if we still want to make it up to Lake Culture. Okay, so we made it back to the crossroads between Lake Kolchuk and Lake Stewart. The way to Lake Stewart, we I had it now on my watch, is roughly two, two and a half miles one way, and you have to walk it back again. And yeah, now we are walking to Lake Kolchuk. I'll let you know how far this is. I don't think it's very far. It looks like half the way to Lake Stewart. And yeah, let's see. A short leg of the hike was at least what we hoped for. The distance is indeed short, but the trail itself is worn out by hundreds of city dwellers who make a pilgrimage to Lake Kolchak and it winds itself with dozens of turns up the mountain. The landscape is still beautiful, but we appreciated the solitude at Lake Stewart. At least we made it up to 5000 feet. And now we keep going. In the end, a few last steps and there it is. Okay, now this was <laughs> quite a bit of a way. We hiked more than we thought. It was still uh, over an hour. We made over 400 meters of altitude gain and roughly three and a half kilometers, almost four kilometers again. So, but as you can see, it was absolutely worth it. It's a really beautiful place. And yeah, we're lingering here for a little bit now, drinking something, eating something and then we will go back down. Lake Kolchak is amazing and the afternoon sun warms our skin while a snowy wind is blowing down from Mount Dragontail and the Kolchak peaks. Lake Kolchak is really really worth the visit. I think the way we did it with visiting Lake Stewart first and then hiking up to Lake Kolchak is yeah, maybe the best way. Even though the description in the internet was not 100% accurate, I mean we, we have 17 kilometers now and over 1000 meters of altitude gain. So it's more than originally expected but I mean that's yeah, it's just worth it. As the sun is setting already, we're speeding up our descent back to the trailhead. And there is of course always time to shoot a little bit of video. Everything goes quite well until we reach an unforeseen obstacle. We are almost at the trailhead on our way up we had the choice between a horse fort and a footlock. It was called footlock. And we took the footlock thinking that we could take the horse fort on our way down. So as you know, I'm not a native speaker and I really didn't comprehend that a fort is something where you have to cross a river. 
and that's what you just saw. My, my poor wife just took off her shoes and uh, waded through the river. It, I think the water went up until her, over her knees. Yeah, for me, I, um, I tried to go over the lock, so I, I noticed that I couldn't keep the balance, so that was not a, a possibility. And at first, um, I tried to <clears throat> F the lock, right? <laughs> But then I remembered that I did something like that before in my life. And after that, it went fairly smooth. Just keep in mind things that you did before and yeah, needed a few minutes to really get to that point. We know that it can't be far anymore. So we continue along Mountaineer Creek. Okay, and we made it. Finally at the parking lot. Um, we, well, we sped up a little bit now and... Uh, it was now 20 minutes since we crossed the ford, right? <laughs> I don't know if you know it, but that's something where you have to go through water. <sighs> okay, it was an awesome day. Um, the Alpine Lake Wilderness is really, really great. I can recommend doing it. Um, now for, for a little bit of stats, we did 23.9 kilometers. I think that's 15, 16 miles, something like that. And we did 1,200 meters of altitude gain. I think that's roughly 3,600, 3,700 feet. So um, long day, but really worth it. And I'll jump in the car now, um, get something to eat. And I think I will even take you to Leavenworth and show you the village. Unfortunately, it is already pretty dark when we are showered and back in Lemberg for dinner. But I hope you get at least a small impression of a Bavarianized village at night. Okay, so much for Leavenworth. As you can see, I am self-filming now because my wife is behind the steering wheel. Uh, yeah, very welcome change because it's always good if you have two people who can drive, especially for those, well, long road trips. Now, um, yeah, so much for uh, Leavenworth. It's a, it's a funny little town because it's really built in a, in a German style. Although if you're really from the area from Central Europe and you know how people build in Germany, Southern Germany, Switzerland, Bavaria, then you really can recognize that the, the houses would never be next to each other like they are next to each other in Leavenworth. So they, it's still, oh yeah, this house is typically for the Black Forest and this house is typically for Southeastern Germany because in Central Europe, these areas all have a very distinct um, architectural style. But still, nice little city, nice little town. And we're driving eastwards now um, towards Chilen, Chalen, however it is pronounced. And we're on the Cascade Scenic Route Highway, the old uh, 97. And yeah, let's see how it looks. Currently, um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. And I'll show you the ride and talk to you later. <laughs> 